What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Scissor team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Scissor, this Pokemon is definitely a fan favorite. Everybody loves it. I feel like you guys love when I use it. And on top of that, I love using this Pokemon for content. Scissor's got Technician and the Clear Amulet as its item and ability. Rock and Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Knockoff, and Tailwind. Yep, you guys heard that correctly. Speed Control on Scissor, we got Tailwind. Should be fun. I've never used Tailwind on Scissor, so this one is going to be a first for me. But other Pokemon on today's team feature Mirabidon, Iron Heads, and Iron Moth. Two Cork Drive Pokemon to pair up with Mirabidon's Electric Terrain. Mirabidon's over here rocking the Electric Terra as its Terra type with Parabolic Charge, Dragon Pulse, Electro Drift, and Volt Switch to pivot out. Iron Hand is going to be a great physical attacker who can also fake out, and Iron Moth is going to be a great special attacker with that Power Herb and Meteor Beam. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is Grimmsnarl and Arachnid. Grimmsnarl is going to be great for support and screens, and Arachnid is going to be great for Trick Room and Wide Guard. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Brother Code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Scissor in ranked Regulation G. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Kyogre Rain team. Now, Kyogre Rain teams are super strong, right? They're always a problem, but Arachne is actually pretty good here, and all my electric Pokemon, so I might just want to go into Miraidon and Iron Hands for our lead. But they also have Tornadus. They do have um, Landorus, which is a big-time problem, Archaludon, Rillaboom, and Urshfu. So I could go into my ground-type Pokemon, or not my ground-type, my electric-type Pokemon, but if they do decide to lead Landorus, that could be a little bit of a problem, right? Could definitely be a little bit of a problem. But, I mean, I could go into you 2 Iron Moth's not bad because Meteor Beam could just rip up into it. And that seems like what I want my lead to be. You 2 bring a Raquinid in the back end, right? And last but not least, Grimstraw? Or do I go in with, like, Iron Hands? Again, Landorus is a little bit of a problem. Maybe we just go Scissor here. I like Scissor for, like, Tailwind purposes. That could be really good for us. Actually, let's just go... Scissor first with Iron Moth because chances are we're going to outspeed a lot. And if we need to just like protect this turn, kind of get after it, we can. Or I can always just swap it to terrain if I want to just swap Scissor. So I do like that. So we're going to go Scissor. We're going to go Iron Moth here with Miraidon and Araquanid in the back end. So yeah, if they want to go Tailwind, we can always just swap in our terrain, get that speed boost from, from Iron Moth in his Quirk Drive, and then kind of go from there. But it really depends who they lead here, because I feel like they have multiple different options. They go into Kyogre Tornadus, they go Landorus Tornadus, they go Rillaboom for terrain control. A lot of different options here. So let's just see who they end up leading. And it is going to be the Rillaboom and, and Landorus. Okay, so not bad. They can fake me out, which is eh, it's okay. And I feel like from here, we kind of just should attack, right? We should honestly just protect you and then just start attacking. So I'm going to do this, and I, honestly, I'm just going to try to U-turn pivot out here with Scissor. Nice, lovely U-turn pivot. They might fake me out. They might not. We'll see what they want to do here. But we just have to protect the Iron Moth, because ground is four times super effective, that I think. So you have to try to look to get rid of Lando. He's going to fake out the Iron Moth. I think he wants to go for, like, a Sansir Storm. I think that's in his best interest. And Earth Power is just going to actually fly into Scissor, which does a ridiculous amount of damage. A bit too much damage for me. u turn is going to pivot out and do some nice damage to his rule boom and now we can go into Miraidon. I'm cool with this so Miraidon's gonna come out here um what's my play from here what is my play from here because we still have a rack one which is great I don't really want to terror right now he's most likely gonna swap roll boom so I might just attack that roll boom slot I am scared of like high horsepower coming in here that is looking a little scary but we do outspeed which is great we do outspeed, so I could honestly just go for like a Meteor Beam here. I could Acid Spray this slot, load a Special Defense, and Dragon Pulse it. That works well, too. I'd rather get rid of Lando, because chances are you probably going to swap Rillaboom. Or you could go for higher Horsepower, so I'm just going to double down the Lando this turn. I'm just going to double down. So we could have popped the Tailwind, but I like the U-Turn Pivot instead. Yep, there's the withdrawal of Rillaboom. Good thing I didn't attack that. And are you going into Kyogre or Tornadus? I feel like you have to have both, right? You can go into Kyogre. Please, no protects. That's all I ask. No protects here. Cool, no protect happens. So Acid Spray is going to fly. We're going to lower this thing's special defense. Minus two. Dragon Pulse, you should outspeed. Gorgeous. Does this KO? It should KO. It does KO. Awesome. And we pick up the KO that way. 
Alright, so we got our terrain out here. He's probably gonna be forced to hard swap or just throw out Rillaboom here. And if that's the case, if Rillaboom comes in here, um, we could just double protect. It is Rillaboom. It is Rillaboom. Now, if Kyogre's not choice, we straight up outspeed it. If Kyogre's not choice. But I mean, we could just sacrifice. I mean, actually, a not a bad swap here. So honestly, I like just to protect here. And I like just going into Raccoonade with a uh, water bubble. Hmm. Yeah, I like water bubble here. I mean, we should be able to soak a water spout. We should be able to. So I'm just going to swap me right on here. They might hard swap Robum. That would be smart to just go straight into a hard swap. But I kind of like how we've been playing this one so far. We still have Scissor low HP. I mean, Bullet Punch can work wonders. So that's why having Scissor low HP is good. But we got rid of their Landorus, which is great. Which is real good for us. Kyogre's just going to end up protecting here. I think you're going for a high horsepower here, if anything, right? And you're just going for Fake Out. So you're buying a turn. So we get that swap off here. Um, I mean, that's fine by me. You're going to be able to swap, and I still got some speed cooking here. I could just lower your defense, but honestly, let's just go into a Meteor Beam. Let's just try to do as much damage as we can. We're going to Meteor Beam, and I'm just going to Wide Guard here. I am just going to Wide Guard. It ends up just withdrawing Kyber. That's just such a weird withdrawal. And he going to go into Tornadus, maybe? You do, so if Meteor Beam lands here, that's a KO. You're dead all day, unless you're Focus Ash, which would kind of be a little odd, but... Actually, it wouldn't be odd. I mean, Focus Ash isn't a bad move. But I'm just going to Meteor Beam here. Make me think you're going for high horsepower. Or maybe just like a, a Wood Hammer. I really hope this Pokemon's not Focus Ash. Because if we can get rid of this this thing and no Tailwind, that'd be great. And of course, it is Focus Ash. Of course, it's Ash. So he is going to be able to get off a Tailwind here. Um, Alright. Wood Hammer's going to fly here. I keep, my, I keep both my Pokemon, which is good. He's going to take some recoil damage. And I get to eat up my berry, which is awesome. So we get the berry going. And from here, I think Heat Wave is probably our best bet into Iron Moth, right? It's got to be. We got to go into Heat Wave here. Because Heat Wave will, will definitely KO the, uh, the Tornadus because it's on one. And do a little bit of damage on the Rollboom. So we will go for the Heat Wave here. And, I mean, I guess we'll double down to this thing with Liquidation in the Rain. Yep, there's the Tailwind. The Tailwind coming out here. So if I can keep a Raccoonade, that could be really good for us. He ends up just going into a high horsepower, which will KO me. So high horsepower KOs. Um, we still have Terra, which is good. We're still going to have a Raccoonade. And hopefully this Liquidation can KO. It does. Awesome. And having a Raccoonade on the field with Wide Guard is so massive. It's so massive because we know he has Bleak Wind Storm. We know he has double hitting moves. I could go into you, but I think now's the time just to go into... Into me right on with Electric Terra. It's gotta be our play. It's gotta be our play. Electric Terra, me ride on, go for Parabolic Charge, start dealing some damage with Wide Guard next to it. So they got Tailwind up. We're playing this one so good. We still got Scissor in the back end. And look at me, I'm matching Kyogre. I just looked at my uh, my Streamlabs screen with my face cam on it, and I'm just matching Kyogre with the blue. <laughs> but um, we got Parabolic Charge. It will restore some of our HP with the Electric Terra. It's really good. I know it's going to deal some damage here. Mm, do I really want to do that? I kind of do, right? I kind of do. So if you protect, you protect. I'm just going to wide guard here. I'm just going to wide guard. So honestly, does wide guard protect Parabolic Charge? It might. I believe it might. I think it does, honestly. The Raccoonid might be good. A Raccoonid might be good. So we go into that Electric Terra. Wide guard will block Bleak Wind Storms, Origin Pulses, Water Spouts. Hopefully, Parabolic charges. <laughs> and we should be able to thrive out here and win this match. There we go. Wide guard set up. He's going to go for Bleak and Storm. Blocked. Big time blocked. And show me Water Spout. Show me Water Spout. Could be Ice Beam too, but I mean... It is Ice Beam, but we did Terrasalus, which is awesome. No Freezy Pops. Cool, no Freezy Pops. Parabolic charge is going to fly here. Arachnid does get protected by that. And this should be a double KO. This thing hits way too hard in the terrain, especially with Electric Terra. No, Kyogre does survive, but it's low enough HP where it can't KO any of my Pokemon. 
Awesome. And I'm back up to full HP. That's what I love about Parabolic Charge. Gives me HP back. Double hitting HP back. Just such a perfect move for Kyogre teams. But here, we're just going to hit another Parabolic Charge. And actually, no, we're not going to go into Parabolic Charge. We're going to play this one smart. We're going to go into Dragon Pulse. And then we'll just go into Liquidation. I believe they do cancel battle. But that should be GG. Yep, battle was canceled. We're sitting 1-0. Loving this team so far. Hot start for your boy, winning match number one, but we're going up against a Necrozma team. Necrozma, super dope Pokemon, you don't get to see it too much, but they're pairing it up with Indeedee today, and a Trick Room squad. Delayed, Ursaluna, Hisuian Liliganth, and last but not least, they do have Torkoal. So an after you Torkoal eruption is looking kind of scary, right? It is looking kind of scary, but Iron Hand's going to be a great Pokemon for us to potentially lead here, and we can just lead it, kind of start getting after it with Miraidon, because they don't have, actually, they do have Terrain Control. But Iron Hand's gonna be a great Pokemon because in Trick Room it really thrives. So honestly, Screens might be our play here. Go Screens. Go in with our Trick Room boys as well. Araquanade's gonna be good. We could also go in with uh, Iron Hands. I do like Scissor here too. Hmm. I definitely want Grimmsnarl. I definitely want Grimmsnarl, Miraidon, and Scissor. And then we have to decide between Araquanid or Iron Hands. And it's kind of looking like Iron Hands. Because Araquanid, let's be honest, not doing that much damage with Liquidation. It really isn't. So I think going into... Hmm, I really don't want to go into me right on here. I'm going to do it anyway. I can I can just full switch out if I want to. And then we'll go here and here. Yeah, I, get, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Because if I had to guess, they're probably leading in DD, which just sucks, man. It stops my fake outs. It stops my terrain. And I mean, I could still do decent damage with Electro Drips and all that, but still, it's just not doing as much damage. Maybe I might Terrastalize. You never know. You never know. Let's just see who they lead. It's got to be Indeedee, though. It has got to be Indeedee. Maybe I should just let Scissor. Maybe you turn Pivot into me right on. That could have been good. But yeah, it's going to be Indeedee and Necrozma. So this screams like, hey, I'm going to set up Trick Room right here. So I mean, at this point, I mean, Light Screen's going to be your best friend. So I'm just going to set up Light Screen. And we'll go from there. So Psychic Terrain out and about. I'll probably just Volt Switch Pivot. Yeah, I like that. I mean, they're going to have the, the Psychic Seeds here as well. So yeah, so Follow Me Trick Room is definitely the play for them. So yeah, let's set up the Light Screen. And let's just go into the da -da Volt Switch. We'll try to land it into the Necrozma. But chances are, again, Follow Me is just going to be the play. So it looks like we are just wasting out Trick Room. And they end up just withdrawing here. This could be rough for us. If that's Ursa Luna... Oh, man, it is Ursaluna. It is Ursaluna Bear. That's tough news, because now we don't full switch Pivot. Oh, man. Indeed, he's Papa Trick Room, most likely. Yep. So now we're in a Trick Room little situation, and Guts is already going to trigger. All right. I feel you. I understand. I understand. We have to hard swap here, though. We have to hard swap me right on. I can't do much about that. So I'm going to do that, and... Set up the Reflect now this turn. So from here, Scissor is our only logical call here. Because if I swap into Iron Hands, then Electric Terrain or Ground Moves is going to dump on me. So I have to go into Scissor. I have to go into the Skizzy. So he's going to withdraw in DD. I'm going to withdraw your Ride on it. This is where things get a little scary, right? This is where things get real scary because it's not looking good. This is looking as rough as it gets, right? This is looking as rough as rough as it gets. Real rough. Super rough. As rough as it gets, like I said. Not looking good for us. We do set up the reflect, which is nice. Um, I would hope you go for a ground move into Scizor. Yeah, you go for headlong rush, and this is still my KO. Okay, we're able to soak. This defense drops. And special defense drops. So Torko's now chilling on the field, which is eh, not good. No bueno. Not good at all. Um and I think from here, we have to try to go for a Spirit Break at least, just to lower this thing's special defense. I can't go for Parting Shot, which is terrible. And Terrasalizing a Dragon, I mean, I'd rather just go for a Bullet Punch and try to get off some damage into Ursaluna. And I can't even go for a Bullet Punch. What am I doing? What am I doing? Psychic Terrain blocking it. And Eruption is just going to do some big time damage. Big time damage. What am I doing? Yeah, dude, that's Psychic Terrain. I should have swapped. I should just swap, but I mean, I wanted to sacrifice this thing regardless. You're just gonna pick up the double KO, aren't you? 
Yep, through streams. All right, this is looking ugly. Now we're gonna swap terrain. Just gonna swap back into it in DD. Now, is there any way we could we could possibly win this game? Because we know you're swapping Ursaluna in, in for Indeedy. We already know that. We already know that. We already know Indeedy's coming out here. I already know that. That's a fact. One thousand percent Indeedy's coming out. Here. Trying to figure out ways we can win this. I mean, Terrasalize and maybe going into Parabolic Charge could be the call. But, like, you have to be swapping. You have to be swapping into Indeed. And I have to make that read here. I have to make that read that you're swapping into Indeed. So I'm going to do that. And honestly, I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch. Just look to recover some HP. You have to be swapping into Indeedee. That's our only chance to win this game if they swap it to Indeedee. So we're going to go for a Parabolic Charge because we know we're taking damage. And there's a swap into Indeedee, which is good news for us. Great news for us. I mean, it's it's not the best news, but it's better than that thing just staying on the field and hit me with Headlong Rush, which he probably should have done, right? Because maybe he thought we were faking out. He definitely thought we were faking out. My Cork Drive's gone, which is sad news. I cannot get Terrain back. And we're going to see a Terror type pop out from Torkoal. The Torx is getting a terror type. Going straight fire, if I had to guess. Yeah, he's looking just to just to erupt and win this game. I have light screen out, which is awesome. Only a couple turns left in Trick Room. And I'm terrestrializing as well. So he's gonna hit me. I'm gonna go parabolic charge. Look to get back as much HP as I possibly can. I will deal damage to our iron hands just a little bit, but hopefully nothing crazy. Hopefully nothing crazy. So out comes our terror type into electric. No fake out, he's just gonna erupt. We got the light screen. We do got the screens. How much damage is this doing though? Oh wow, that's some damage. That's a lot of damage. Drain Punch gonna fly here. Do minimal damage. We get back a little bit of HP from that. Go back into the green. Now Parabolic Charge flies. Good old Parabolic Charge. How much damage are we doing now? It's okay, it's not bad. We do get back some nice HP from that, but I don't think we're surviving another eruption. I do not think we're surviving another eruption. How much HP we get back? We actually get back a ton. It's over 100 HP we got back. Alright, so with Trick Room, one turn left in it. That's good news for us. That's actually really good news for us. I think I just throw another Parabolic Charge to KO the Twerkle, and if I can, I mean, just go for a Drain Punch into a DD. Let's see what they end up doing here. Heat Wave, are you switching to Heat Wave, or are you choiced? I, I'm hoping your choice, because if your choice, we have a hot shot at win this match. Actually, I don't know if it's a hot shot, but we have a nice shot at it. We just have a lot of recovery moves here. HP recovery, playing it slow. He ends up withdrawing the Torkoal. That's big time news for us. Gonna go into Ursuline if I had to guess. Gonna go into Ursuline, or it could be Necrozma. No, it's gonna be Ursuline, which is fine. I mean, we're just gonna be able to take out Ndidi, and follow me comes out here. No big deal. No big deal. The Dream Punch. Hits, get some HP. We're gonna be able to take out DD here. Um, it's where things get a little scary because they probably bring out Necrozma and you try to pop trick room. So we're putting up a fight here. We're putting up a fight. We're putting up a fight. We will get back a little bit more HP. Ursaluna is looking scary. They haven't used Terror yet. So if I had to guess, they're gonna Thrasalize Ursaluna, right, to try to survive Drain Punches. And I might double down in the Ursaluna, but if I double down in the Ursaluna, I give him another trick. Unless they go into Torkoal here. If they go into Torkoal here, we're hands down trying to double down in the Ursaluna. Well, let's see. This has got to be Necrozma, right? Yeah, Necrozma comes back out here at full HP. So, I mean, I can Electro Drift right into that. Which is probably my best bet. I mean, I could go into like Parabolic Charge, but Electro Drift probably your best bet. Just deal as much damage as we can. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go into a Drain Punch into Ursaluna. You gotta. Uh, you, we might. We maybe should just double down into Crossman here. Because honestly, I think Ursaluna protects. Yeah. Man, we should have doubled down. Can I get a crit on this Electro Drift? That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But this thing's so bulky. I doubt we're I doubt we're doing much of this thing. Let's see. About half. So they're gonna get off another trick room and that just pretty much wraps it up. 
Dragon Punch gonna get blocked, and honestly, I don't think we're picking up a KO even if we double down into Necrozma. This thing is just so bulky, and without our terrain, it's tough. And they honestly, they go for Expanded Force. Hold up. Hold up, we have a shot. You're telling me we have a shot at this. You're telling me we have a shot at this. Hold up. Thank you, Light Screen. Love you, Light Screen. Now, the thing is, we need our Iron Hands to outspeed that Ursaluna, which I really hope it does. What's your speed here? 75. You should hands down outspeed that Ursaluna. And we should be able to go Electro Drift KO. And Drain Punch, hopefully KO, and big time HP recovery. Again, it really depends on its Terror type, because they haven't used Terror yet. Oh, yes, they did. They used it on Torkoal. Oh, yes, they did. We love that. We love that. So we don't have to worry about Terror type. Hold up. I can't believe they didn't go for Trick Room there. They decided to go for Expanded Force. You go for Trick Room there, your Ursaluna just wins the game. Now we have a shot. He ends up withdrawing Ursaluna. You're going to go into Torkoal. We're going to pick up the KO onto Torkoal, and we should pick up the KO onto Necrozma. I don't understand that swap. You want it Weather? I'm a little confused on that swap. Electric Drift, you should KO, right? You did. You did... You did a bit more than half last last time, so I need your KO in here. Bang! Let's go! Let's go! That pretty much wraps it up. That wraps it up right there. How are you doing? How you doing? Come on, man. Don't be 2-0. Honestly, that was a great match from our opponent, especially the first half. The first half, they were killing us. And I made a blunder mistake of going for a bullet punch in that terrain. But I was sacrificing my scissor anyway, so it really didn't matter, right? We just wanted to get off some damage before it died out. Well, let's go. They made a blunder, though, at the end. Not going for Trick Room on Necro Necrozma. Unless Necrozma just doesn't have Trick Room, which would make sense. But in that case, we just waste out Trick Room Trench really well. Now from here, I can switch to Dragon Pulse. I can go in the Drain Punch. Don't have to worry about Terra. That's going to be game. They just cancel battle. They don't even go for it. They don't even go for it. Hopping into our final match, and I want to use Scissor a bit more here, especially set up a Tailwind with Scissor. That could be really good for us, so I am going to end up leading Scissor alongside with Grimstrong, considering screens are just so viable. Really, really strong for us. We're going to end up going into both of them. I have the clear amulet on Scissor, which is great, so I don't have to worry about Intimidate popping out here from Incineroar. So I'm going to go into Grimstrong. I'm going to go into Scissor. Obviously, we want me ride on in the back end. And last but not least... Do we go into Iron Moth? I mean, Iron Moth's so fast, which is really good for us. Really fast, especially in the uh, terrain with this Quark Drive boost. It's just flying at that point. Yeah, so I'm going to go into Iron Hands. Or not Iron Hands, Iron Moth. Love me some Iron Moth, so that's going to be my play. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. I wonder who they're going to lead here because I really want to use Scissor. Try to at least get off the Tailwind with them and then throw some bullet punches around. We'll see. We'll see. Because that second match, we kind of just use them as a sacrifice. Waste out a trick or I mean, it worked. First match, we just U-turn pivot, did some nice damage, had it in the back end, won that match. So, again, I want to use it a little bit better here and hopefully pop a Tailwind. Because I never used Tailwind on Scissor. I don't believe I have. But they choose to go for Calyrex and Indeed here. Um, I could swap terrain. I think I might have to swap terrain. No, I think I just set up Light Screen Tailwind. Probably in my best interest. I mean, even if you go for an Expanding Force, we should be fine. We should be fine. I doubt you go for an Expanded Force, to be honest with you. To be honest, I doubt you go for an Expanded Force. I'm going to go for a Tailwind. I want that speed. I'm going to set up this Light Screen. Let's do it. Light Screen. The greatest thing ever. Screens on Grimstraw. He's up going for to follow me. No big deal. We're trying to get some speed around here. Light Screen going to connect. And what are you going for? Nasty Pot, maybe? No, just straight Astro Bodge, which we should soak. I'm not too worried about this. Ouch. That's some damage. That's some damage. We do get off that Tailwind. Lovely. And from here, I can just U-turn pivot, take away terrain if I want to. Or I could go for knockoff, but U-turn's way better. So we'll go for U-turn. I will try to go for a Spirit Break here into the Calyrex because I would love to put this thing minus one. He ends up just withdrawing Calyrex. That's fine. Hopefully he goes to a special attacker here. That'd be lovely. He got it. It's going to be Iron Hands. All right, so we're going to be forced to set up a Reflect next turn unless you're going to fake me out. You turn to a massive damage. Big time damage. And do I go into me right on here? I got Cobra Cloak. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go into me right on. Because by switching this terrain, hear me out, guys. By switching this terrain, he's going to then fake out my me right on, and we have Cobra Cloak. 
but she doesn't know. So this is a real safe swap for us. <coughs> this is real safe. I mean, you could be going for Dazzling Gleam with Indeed here. But I mean, this just seems like a really safe swap for me. It really does. I'm going to Core Shot boost him just so he fakes out my boy. He's going to have an attack boost. And Spirit Break's going to fly in that slot. And actually, should do a little damage. Yeah, that's actually great damage. That's lovely damage. We like that damage. So he ends up popping a Tricker. That's a bit scarier. But I still like Mirai on this field because I am going to set up a Reflect. And do I go for a Parabolic Charge? Leave Ndidi on the field. Chances are Ndidi swaps. But into who? Into Glade maybe? Incineroar? Incineroar could be the call. Incineroar definitely could be the call. But I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. I don't mind Ndidi being on the field, right? What's it going to do now? Just sit here and you should follow me. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse in this slot. And I'm just, I'm just going to set up a Reflect here. I think it's a fine term for us. We go for helping hand. Okay. Nothing crazy. No fake out comes out here, which is a little tough. But I think you're going for a drain punch maybe into Grimmsnarl. But with this reflect, we should be fine. Lovely reflect. No drain punch into Miraidon, which does a little bit more than half. Kinda sucks. But I don't mind this. We got Dragon Pulse flying into the slot. Stab in the terrain. Actually did a little less damage than I wanted to do. Um, okay. So we gotta waste out some trick turns now. Could hard swap back into scissor. Um, you could be going for helping hand drain punch. That is an option. I wish I had protect on you. Can you soak a drain punch helping hand? I hope so. We're gonna swap. We're gonna go for it. I'm gonna swap into scissor and I'm just gonna go for a spirit break and I I, I just wanna leave Indeed on the field. I mean I'd rather him helping hand. It's easier for us to waste out turns here. So I'm just gonna go spirit break into into you. Actually, I should have just parting shot it into... What am I doing? I should have just parting shot into the uh, Iron Hands here. That would have been better because then we could have survived the Drain Punch. Yeah, that was kind of stupid of me. That was kind of stupid of me. I should have just parting shot it. Bad idea, Jeans. Bad move. Drain Punch. Can you soak this? No. But again, I'd rather sacrifice the Scissor than anything else. So, I mean, they get back a little bit of HP. And now we're going to get back up and ride on. We're just wasting out these trick and turns. Spirit Break gonna fly. We have Iron Moss still, and that does close to enough damage. Close to enough damage. Tailwind's gone. Um, I could go into Iron Moth. No, I wanna save my Iron Moth. Do I though? No, I'm just gonna go into Iron Moth. The reason I wanna go into Iron Moth here is because I am gonna Parting Shot right now. Just to lower that attack stat of uh, of that Iron Hands, and I'm just gonna hope that Heat Wave can just pick up the double KO. Wait, simple. Do I need a Terrasize? No. We still have Terror though, which is good. Let's do that. Let's do that. So they still have. They still have Calyrex. And if I had to guess their final Pokemon, it's probably Incineroar. Not too sure. Not too sure. But I do the hard swap here. Um, <clears throat> he might be going into Drain Punch into this this slot right here, our Grimstone slot. But I would hope he'd be going after my uh, my Iron Moth. He might be going after my Iron Moth with Electric Move. Ooh, you were going in that slot. That's, that works perfectly. Okay. So I soak that Heat Wave now flies. That's a double KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I need a couple more turns left in this terrain because with this terrain, my Iron Moth is outspeeding and it's going, it's going really fast. It's a fast Pokemon. So I still have Grimmsnarl. I still have screens up, which is awesome. I'm um, just going to be forced to send out Calyrex and probably Incineroar, right? Most likely Incineroar, right? No, it's going to be Urshifu. Water Urshifu. All right, now that's a little scary. That's where things get a little scary. Water Urshifu on the field. Hmm. Grass Terror is definitely your best bet. We're gonna go Grass Terror. We're just gonna swap into Grimmsnarl. Because I would love to be able to get a parting shot into Calyrex. I would love that. So, we're gonna hard swap from here right on. Look to try to grab ourselves a win here. Because I really want this perfect record. 
But we got my boy Iron Moth. Ready to drop some heat waves. We're gonna see a Terra type pop out from Calyrex, maybe? Or is this Urshfu? It is gonna be Urshfu. What do you got going here, Urshfu? Grass? Nope, straight water. So he's looking for damage. He's looking for damage and big time damage. But we're going into the grass Terra type, which could work wonders. Oh, I didn't Terrasalize? Did I not Terrasalize my Iron Moth? Hold up. I didn't Terrasalize my Iron Moth there? Luckily, they're going after Grimmsnarl. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can go after Grimmsnarl. I did not Terrasalize my Iron Moth there. That really hurts the soul. You know, it hurts even more that this thing is outspeeding my Iron Moth. Both you guys are outspeeding my Iron Moth, which is a little ridiculous. Is Trickroom still out? Okay, yeah, Trickroom's still out. That makes sense now. And electricity disappears, but I'm bringing it right back out here. I'm bringing it right back out here. Alright. So now we sit here in this weird position where... I kind of... I do. I don't even know what to do here. Do I gotta go for Meteor Beam into... I think I have to go for Meteor Beam into Calyrex and try to pick up the KO. Maybe I should have Meteor Beam last turn. I still have Terra, which I'm going to be forced to Terrasalize Grass here. Go Meteor Beam into Calyrex, because I need Calyrex to die. And I mean, Parabolic Charge would win this game, but... Mm, this is tough. Yeah, I have to go Grass Terra, because Surge Strikes would just KO me regardless. I'm actually happy I, I misclicked and didn't Terrasalize my Iron Moth last turn, because they weren't even going after Iron Moth. So now we go into the Grass Terra, we're hoping they're attacking them. And honestly, this just might not work out. We need we need Meteor Beam to KO the Calyrex. This is the only way we have a shot at winning. Only way we have a shot at winning is this, this Meteor Beam KOs this Calyrex, which I don't know if it can. Without stab boost, it's going to be close. Without stab boost, it's going to be close. We need the KO right here to have even a shot. If not, we lose this game all day to Astro Barrage. And of course, they live in the red. They live in the red. Surgeon Strike's going to fly here. Go after Iron Moth, please. We do go after Iron Moth, which we still die out to. Which we still die out to. And then, like I said, we needed that Meteor Beam to KO. If Meteor Beam did KO, we win this game all day. But deciding factor, going to be a little bit of HP on the Calyrex. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. But, hey, we'll take this one on Chin. I'll still take a 2-1 winning record all day. Let's see. You going for Astro Barrage? Make a misclick. Nah, no shot. <laughs> Astro Barrage flies out here. Bye-bye, me right now. Thanks for playing. That's going to be game. So 2 and 1 for today's video. Not too bad with the Scissor Squad. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I said it in the beginning of the video. I want to at least grab ourselves a winning record with the Scissor Squad. And we prevailed. Going 2 and 1 for today's video. But this team was a lot of fun. You had the Iron Moth to pair up with Miraidon. Same thing with Iron Hands pairing up with Miraidon. And then Screen Scrim Snarl. Always good time. Scissor. Love this Pokemon so much. Got off a few big time U-turns. Tailwind up in that third and final match. And then Arachnid. Just great in that Trick Room. Doing some big time damage with Liquidation. And helping us out up against Kyogre teams with Wide Guard. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.